What's it guys? I'm back! I know, I've been disconnected to YouTube for a very long time. Usually I only do filmmaking stuff. I decided to change my lane a bit and try something else entirely because you know I only got 30 subscribers. <laughs> anyway, today, see, I'm originally from South Korea and I know a lot of Korea stuff, Korean stuff. And today I'm going to explain 10 Korean words or Korea related words to you guys. And yeah, here we go. So the first word is mukbang. Actually, it's not actually called mukbang. It's actually called mukbang, not mukbang. Mukbang is actually derived from 먹는 방송, which means eating broadcast. And as you guys probably know, mukbang is where people or a person sits in front of the camera and eats food and give the viewers this vicarious pleasure. I think it's called vicarious pleasure. All right, the second word for this video is PC bang. Again, is some people pronounce it PC bang, but it's actually again called PC bang. But in for this word, bang isn't derived from bangsong, which means broadcast. Bang here means room. It's just bang. So it literally means PC room. Some people call this e cafe or PC cafe. It's basically where gamers gather around to play video games together. I've heard these days that most PC bangs in South Korea is actually more like a restaurant where you can play and eat food. Unfortunately, I have never been to a PC bang in South Korea because I came here to different country before the age I could enjoy those PC bangs. Now, the third word is K-pop. The K-pop means Korea pop or Korean pop. It originally meant like dancing incorporated with singing. If you guys see most K-pop groups out there, they sing while dancing. But now it usually just means just general music from South Korea. All right, so, and the next word is BTS. Yes, it's the BTS, the top K-pop group in the world right now. People, many people call them BTS, but their original name is Bangtan Sonyeondan, which can be translated into Bulletproof Boys Group. The group doesn't have the same nuance as Dan, because Dan, Dan usually means like, professional group, but that's my best translation. In this Bangtan Sonyeondan, Bangtan So. If you write the pronunciation in English and write the first letters out of each word, it becomes BTS. And thus they became BTS. The next word in our list is kimchi. They pe people pronounce it kimchi because it starts with K, but it's most, more like kimchi, which is like a G instead of K. Some people think kimchi or kimchi is like a vegetable. That's wrong. <laughs> because kimchi is like a type of food. Like, it's like your spaghetti, like a western spaghetti. No, actually let's call it pizza because I don't know much about spaghetti. So there's like jalapeno pizza, no not jalapeno pizza. Uh, Hawaiian pizza, uh, gorgonzola pizza, the, oh, pepperoni pizza. There's like a bunch of pizzas, right? But we still call them pizzas, right? It's similar to kimchi. There's a lot of types of kimchi. We all call them kimchi. The form of kimchi that most people think when they think of kimchi is actually just made of cabbage. The next word is Taekwondo. I've heard some people pronounce it Taekwondo, but it's actually more like Taekwondo. And again, it's Kwon, Taekwondo, but it's actually more pronounced like Taekwondo. Like G instead of K. Taekwondo is a Korean martial art that utilizes kicks a lot compared to other martial arts. And Taekwondo is actually derived from Chinese letters. Ta means kicking, guan means fist, and I believe do means more something like art. Alright, the next word is hyunde. Again, similar to taekwondo, I've heard people pronounce hyunde as 
Hyundai, but it's actually more like Hyundai. As you guys probably know, it's a famous car brand in all over the world. Hyundai, when translated, it means like current generation or modernity. Next word is sagu. It's actually a Korean word as you guys probably guess. It's basically a genre for films, dramas, books, those stuff. Sagu is more like a historical drama. It can be translated into historical drama. And in most Korean sagu, the setting is Joseon, which is like a country that was in Korean Peninsula before it became Korea. Now, uh, there are a few, there are famous K dramas that are from this genre, sagu. One famous example would be Netflix drama Kingdom. All right, our ninth word is hunger. So basically, hunger is like a Korean, the writing system of Korean. And it was made by one of our kings of Joseon, who was named Taejong. The writing system is actually really smart, the way it was built. One letter of hunger is made of one or two vowels and one or two consonants. That letter's pronunciation never changes, unlike English. In that, in the word apple, the a, the a sounds e, but then in the word haze, it makes like a, it makes the sound of a instead of e. But in Korean, that never happens. One letter is always pronounced one way. Now it's our last word, the final but not the least word, Korea. Korea is actually not called Korea in Korean. In Korean, Korea is called Dehanmingu, or it can be abbreviated Hangu. Korea, the word Korea is deri derived from Goryeo, which is uh, which was a country that was in the Korean Peninsula from 900s to 1300s. And that is it to my 10 words that are related to South Korea. I didn't make a script for the ending statement. Thanks for watching guys. I am Ugan and see ya guys.